All right, here I am. I was inspired by the last video that we posted by Team Mango, where he was just out here in his rocking chair. Just out here in his rocking chair talking to the camera. And a lot of times we have ideas, I have ideas to share with our viewers, but I'm always waiting for the perfect moment, the perfect setting to share that. So, um, yeah, I was inspired by Timothy to just come out here in the rocking chair and, and share some thoughts that I had. So, today, I want to talk about exposing the parts of ourselves that is hardest to expose. And to give you a little image to chew on before we get into that, I want to give you a scenario. So you have a social circle where the largest group of your friends, say eight to ten people, knows about 50% of all there is to know about you. And then you have a smaller group of friends, say five, six people that know about 75% of everything there is to know about you. And then you have a really, really good friend, best friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife that knows about 90% of everything there is to know about you. But then there's 10% of you that no one knows, that no one knows about. And that is the 10% that we are interested in and in going into and diving deeper. Um, I didn't come up with that. I met a guy at a, uh, a local coffee shop here in Athens that shared that idea with me and it really resonated. So the idea here is, is once you go this is an exercise that we, uh, that, we sh that we go over at our retreats a lot. So I'm going to give you a little inside peek here at a Rob Ross retreat. And one of the most impactful exercises that we go over is sharing the thing about yourself with another person that you would least like to share. So what is, it th what is the thing that you would least like to share with the other person? And that's a super counterintuitive thought, you know, like why, why in the world would we share the thing that I would least like to share with you, you know? Isn't that going to do nothing but create awkwardness or, uh, you know, put a barrier up between us or it might hurt the other person's feelings? I mean, if you really go there, if you really think about the thing that you would least like to share. And it's, it's really hard to even think of that thought because it's so anti culture and you, it's probably in there somewhere but you just haven't even thought of it being a possibility to share. So to give you an example of what I'm talking about here, um, at our last retreat in Panama there was this guy from the UK and my first impression of him was was okay, well, not the greatest. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm thinking in my mind, <laughs> I'm gonna be living with a, we a week with this guy on a private island, and I want to get along with him. So you know, a couple days go by, I really try to make an effort to get things working between us, and it's just it's just not clicking. You know, um, I feel like I get along pretty well with most people, but for whatever reason, there was something about our dynamic that just was not working. And I'm sitting here thinking like, man, I'm just, I'm like living with this guy for a week. We're not getting along. Like that's just, that just kind of sucks. And I have like these thoughts that I'm not sharing with him and man, that's just not ideal. So I figured I would start practicing what we preach. And on day, I think three, it was three or four, I sat him down and I was like, Hey man, listen, I don't know what it is about you, but I just do not like you. <laughs> And you know, like my heart was racing thinking about telling him this. It's racing now, even just talking about it. Or maybe that's just because I'm on camera. But the point is, I did not want to share that with him, you know? Like my mind's thinking, what, that's just going to do nothing. That's going to, you know, maybe hurt his feelings or it's just not much good is going to come out of that. But I can tell you about 10, 15 minutes after I shared that with him, we were, we were on the hammock. We were on the hammocks laying down laughing about the idea of how we're just on this island out in the middle of the ocean telling each other 
how much we don't like each other. <laughs> And it was, uh, and it was really interesting. It was, uh, I'd never really been that straightforward with someone that I told them that I just didn't like, you know? And I really wanted to try on the idea because um, it hasn't failed in the past when I've shared the things with people that I really don't want to share. It always just seems to bring us closer together. And we weren't best friends by the end of the retreat, but we got along a lot better. And after I, after that, I uh, released that off my chest, it created um, a sense of more intimacy between us. And, and when, you come, when you come at someone with this, they, and you're coming from a place of you know, being genuine and authentic, and they, a person can sense that you're just trying to uh, further the connection with them, and you're not coming from a place of uh, maliciousness or trying to bring them down. And that's, that's the dynamic that it created, and I, and I was like, all of a sudden I found myself being kind of drawn towards him. And, uh, and it was awesome because anything, anytime anything came up after that, we were able to share it with each other. We were able to be like, hey man, I don't, I don't appreciate what you just said, or I resent you for doing that. And, uh, and it created a real authentic relationship. And, um, and it's not all about always working out either, you know? Sometimes you share these things with people and it doesn't work out, and it doesn't go over well. But that's okay because we are not in this world to live up to other people's expectations and they are not in this world to live up to ours. But if by chance we find each other and it happens and it works, it's beautiful. And if not, it can't be helped. <laughs> and so that's really the take home message of this is all you can do is be you, you know, be real, own who you are. Me and my brothers always tell each other, you do you. You just do you, especially when it comes to girl situations because it's easy to lose yourself. It's easy to start trying to portray an image that is incongruent with who you are. But you know what? You do you, and I will do me. And, uh, and if it works, it's awesome. It's great. It's more intimate. You know, intimacy is about being fully known and accepted, not being half known, not portraying an image of something that is not even who you are and then being loved for that because you can't even begin to accept that love because you're being loved for someone you're not. But when you're owning who you are, when you're really being who you are and who you were made to be and you're letting that shine and then people love you for that, now that's awesome. So take home message for today is you do you. You do you.